Welcome to the winner semi-finals of the MetaPlays Season 4 Pro League. This is called the Sentinels League, actually. And uh, Amarante is here in the blue color, playing as Shipmaster. We had Hetchy in the red corner, playing Serena, and then immediately typing in chat saying predictable. So it sounds like he picked Serena specifically to counter Shipmaster. But I guess we'll see. Supply pad upgrade complete. Yeah, this leak has five hundred and seventy-five dollars on the line. Can be increased further with community donations, so check out our website for that. Amarante looking to perform pretty well. He's played in the last tournament too. Um, so the players qualifying um there will be eight total. And they can increase their Generated placement and connected. points by playing these qualifiers. So I guess Ami is just playing in the mall to get the most favorable seating. So Serena um, can be a tough cookie. Doesn't get any mini base deals though. Ami is making sure of that. So I have to play this the old fashioned way. Might be a fast expo from Hetchy. It's pretty difficult to deal with that, especially if Serena gets the turrets up. Yeah, we already got double wash tower on the front. <laughs> uh, those are creating a massive ice field once you pick up the uh, cryotech advances. Watchtower constructed. I love Liam's comment. Best of three, and this moron picks Serena. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, essentially considered one of the le weakest leaders in the game, but she is very niche, which uh, allows her sometimes to have a very good matchup. And then this map is one of the maps where Serena is at least viable. That's exactly it. Like, is. your bases are very defensible. The power nodes uh, block most paths. This is the place to do it. Also, a map where we see it often is Fishers. The rest, Frontier maybe not well. so much. Frontier is very good for the rush, yeah. Yeah, because uh, basically every court, like every area in the middle is covered by ice. Yeah, exactly. For the nodes. So that's huge. Mini base complete. But so far, no nodes taken from Etchy yet, so no ice being spread at the moment. Yeah, I'm not sure Only how much Only by watchtowers I... on the main. I like that, like... The Jackrabbit opener with Serena as well is probably not all that advisable. Uh, probably better to just get the Marines going and get that first power node. Which he is doing now. Could have been a minute sooner or so. But what he did is he immediately went double gen. And then he's going to be able to have watchtowers on ice on his main. Yep. It's really not much you can do to push into double watchtowers. Or like full base watchtowers. That's right. Oh, 97% oh, denial. 3%. <laughs> and he grabs it quickly to make sure it decaps even faster, so he can't just, like, jump back on it. That is nuts. Yeah. Sword Boy slices and dices. Meanwhile, oh, Scorpion Laws is uh, gifting subs in the chat. Oh, Thanks, hell yeah. buddy. That's uh, three of them so far. And 31 total. Well, not Thank today, you, but all together, that is. Thanks so much. Feed our pizza addiction. <laughs> we are under attack. I was about to say I haven't had pizza in a while, but uh, I had it last night. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I had it at a restaurant, which is different. Upgrade complete. Usually I get it at the house. Leader power ready. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Got an expro from Army. And five power nodes. Like this is a really tough moment for Serena. What do you even do? Getting out the hero wouldn't be all that advisable because Beam counters it in the early game. Oh Etchy. That's why ship should be banned and not Mortis. Just totally dodging a sniper shot. I 
I think Hedgy might be a little bit too used to people not picking, like, uh, the du double point on combat spoils. That's very nasty if you use that. True, but I think Serena can actually create enough distance to make that hard to actually utilize effectively. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't build anything. <laughs> oh my god. Well, both are going tier two. Outpost constructed. It will be time to build something there. Citadel upgrade complete. Army the builder. He says push my base. He probably will at some point. Like locusts are still really, really powerful. Uh, once you get to the later stages of the game. But well, I don't think Army is gonna do too much in in tier two here. Uh, expecting the base upgrades and straight up tier three might make a scarab. Scarab is definitely not what you want to do here. <laughs> Sir, scarab and Serena, there is some sort of. I like to call it a glitch because I think they, it is. For whatever reason, scarab freezes at a faster rate than any other unit because of its giant health bar. It it just freezes it almost instantly from most things. Yeah, that should not be that only That only happened after their last patch. They, the very last patch they did, they buffed Serena. Mm -hmm. And I know it wasn't obviously in the patch notes, but I noticed the change then. And even Metal, I was talking to Metaloid about it, and even he thinks that something might have happened. Yeah, they probably forgot but, about that value. Because um, each unit has an individual override as well. Um, I, and I think they might have changed the global multipliers. Eden, the th uh, Scorpion with three more gift subs. Thank you so much, Scorpion. Well, Combat Tech Marines are coming community is carrying Meta Place. <laughs> Easily. Combat mechanics researched. Although you had, looked like you had a pretty good stream yesterday. Uh, or... AUM has a lot of viewers. Uh, they... It's not a lot of financial support from AOM, <laughs> no. uh, but a lot of viewers just around get, the world. Just getting the avid revenue. <laughs> get some ad revenue. Um, there are a handful of people in AOM who really contribute to the tournament prizes. So uh, it's a different kind of support. Makes sense. Leader power. And then Halo Wars people, you like watching YouTube a lot, actually. Um, YouTube kicks off very hard every time we upload Halo Wars compared to the other games. It's a financial support on YouTube. And, uh, and like Twitch as well, so. Generator upgrade. Yeah, well, Halo I mean, Wars how, financially uh, carries. Uh, Age of Mythology people actually uh, like to subscribe on our website. Uh, so there's a lot of like, uh, Patreon-like people there. Constructed. Got it, got it. Our base is under attack. Just interesting little different behaviors. Point well, Ami's claiming the entire map and Hetchy has to do something about it. So I, I like that he's taking out this one. I'll probably go for the next two. Also floating two beam powers. <laughs> Ami really does not want that uh, power node captured. He's beaming the one unit that's capturing. <laughs> uh, you can't make this up. Funny thing is, with four watchtowers in the main, uh, the honor guard can't get to tech so far away from the base. Or can't get cloaks from quite a distance away from the base. Outpost constructed. Well, army has the base. Now, what's the next move? Tier 3 is done. It's gonna be Raves, it looks like. He's got like four already and making more. Uh, the bases are upgrading, and the one in the front on the other side is just a distraction, really. Great reporting. The enemy sent vehicles after us. Yeah, that's a good amount of wraiths now. So. Amirante will be able to put a stop to this expansion attempt stuff. Got you coming in with the Marines. Probably won't be able to do too, too much.
What is Hatchy doing? He's on. He's on quad gen. Uh, no, no maxi gen. <laughs> uh, but he can go tier three any moment. In fact, he's late to go to tier three. Surprised he hasn't got an ice cream truck yet. Yeah, the, the early one, I like that he didn't go for that, but like in tier 2, it's fine. Because you don't want to get beamed. At that thing. The Wraith Freeze. Alright. Might actually get his expo up and running if these raids don't go. <laughs> what is this game? There's like no fighting for five minutes. I know, right? It's just. Hatchy if, uh, his if Hatchy actually does get, oh, he's going vultures, by the way. Oh. If Hatchy does uh, get two expos up, it's very hard to push into the expos as Serena, Supply pad just because of all the freeze. Fire I mean, Locust can do it, but I don't think Wraith can. Yeah, they kind of gotta go now while they're unupgraded or while they don't have turrets, at least. Especially if he gets the ice cream drop, which he does now, plus uh, the upgrades. He was already two star. Might become free soon. At this rate. Oh, he did the big drop behind the base. <laughs> it looks like he's just getting raped. Hey, he's just trying to kill the Jan on the mini, which he does. Oh god. I don't know if big drop the... for that it did yeah, drop. is worth. I, I don't know about this. Well, Hatchy is tier 3. It's been for a while, like you said, making yeah, vultures. Ice cream truck. Uh, is that the tier 3 version? I'm not super sure. Of the ice cream truck? Mm. Yeah. It's got a big health bar. Yeah, because yeah, he just sacked right. the armory and he wouldn't have done that without it. Everybody's so trying to cross this. Oh god. Oh god, they're slowing down so much. Yep. My stuff freezes in front of them. Base is about to get upgraded. He has no reverse right now, so these vultures are going to put a hole in this oh army. Oh my god. Yeah. The only problem is I see is that the fact that that honor guard is vent too. Why are the nightingales not on the base? I'll never know. Or on the on the uh, hero, I'll never know. Yeah, they would have helped so so much, but now we've got spirit support coming in, and the raves will just absolutely smash this eve, even without uh, a mass of reavers helping out. It's not enough. If he had his big drop now, maybe, and used it here. Yeah, but that would help. Even then. Yeah. Well, that was that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Very anticlimactic. I I still don't understand what the plan was. Uh, that was weird. Okay, let's just move on. All right, welcome to game two. We've got Amranti ninety nine playing as Forge in the blue color. And uh, Hetchy in the. Red corner, going shipmaster. I was just reading Chaz while I'm laughing, because EOD's like, in that one game we did the turtle, he's like, if you would have told me about the Condor thing and the game short would have been shorter, like, why have it in the ground? Somebody else says, like, you could have ghosted the machine, the blister back, and killed your own Condor with it. He's like, oh yeah, big brain. <laughs> like, all these things you could have done. He's like, oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> but uh, in the game we're at, we already got a double mini steal from Al Almirante on Hetchy. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Forge gets pretty rich as time passes. Very easy to get those heavy supply pad upgrades. He's actually delayed his generator upgrade to get this done. Um, so that could come back and bite him, but I think there's no reason why he couldn't go up to four minis. 
Yeah, had she went triple supply pad opener to try to actually get minis, and it got them both stolen, so it's like, oh crap. So he built the extra supply he had to build a double gen immediately. It's gonna be very hard for he uh, all me to do that in return, but he is forged, so rolling eco will help. Well, he's got a barracks on the mini base proxied. No double barracks, just just a one. And he's got his third mini on his own side. The next one, oh my god, he got a full mini base steal situation. Hetchy trying to immediately expand. Because he's got all that cash. He has no choice. He can't single pump and actually expect to survive. It's a little bit... Gaining four minis like this makes it hard to actually pump units right away. So if you're able to ex expand like you, uh, Hetchy's doing, it's already halfway done. It's almost guaranteed to be finished without taking any damage. Yeah, for sure. Which the is units obviously have where been, it's the most vulnerable. It's have been all over the place, so they're not putting any pressure on. The hatch even coming across to pick up some of this side supply crate stuff. Very nice. Ghost helping to defend. I mean, Hetchy is doing a good job buying time. Upgrading a second gen now. There is a j uh, turret on the base now, so it's it'll help out. And he's building a ghost on the expo that got finished. I so actually don't hate this from Hetchy. This position's not bad. He has the same amount of. He actually has more population than uh, Almi right now. Almi did go second gen, but it's actually on the far. or the back mini of his own. He's also swapped out the uh, barracks on the mini base for one at home. Very interesting. And Hetchy's grabbing the third base? What? Also, did we point out that Scorpion lost it? Another sub gift. Thank you. It's up to 10 today. Scorpion Laws is a madman and I love it. What's funny is Hetchy went Almory first, Almory would have been screwed. That's actually true. Dude, he's not wrong. It's actually a decent position for Hetchy. Having an expo early like this, it's like three extra pads, it's one less than uh, four minis, but obviously la later on, having the expo already done and finished helps a lot. Well, some of us are kind of getting in there. Hetchy might want to get shields for them, but maybe not. Uh, but I think when you make that many, it's kind of worth it. You have to deal with the Forge Hog anyway. Ooh, the grenades are coming in on the ghosts, though. And those can make a big difference here. Yeah, most of them already are down. It's the cloakable grunts that will make a difference. Hopefully pick off some of the marines so that Hatchy can survive a bit longer. Suicide grunts! Oh! Uh, crashing into the Hellbringers. I guess those are the tough ones. And Hetchy was able to build that other, that third base, so that's just another place you can pump grunts or uh, ghosts. And he's 1100 power. Time to go tier 2. He's got two turrets at home. I mean, he hasn't done much of anything, really, with his own tech. Like, there's no Fort Shock coming. He's getting an Expo and upgrading it. He's gonna be hard stuck in tier 1. Now have a Barracks on the other side of the map, too. So you can keep reinforcing this. Actually, nearly reached tier 2. And the hero is next. Funny how Hetchy's front base isn't getting upgraded. Um, but yeah, he's prioritizing the hero for now. Getting a lead ranger out too. I need several to deal with the sniper in the garrison though. 
Yeah, that raid cam going down is gonna be a problem. I actually didn't finish the build the unit that was inside. It's a beam, but that's a terrible beam. What in the hell? Wow, zero kills? Zero, zero kills. kills, just a few models. Yikes. Uh, Hedgy might be a little greedy here. He he just got harvesters at home, nothing else. Might lose the base for it. Kodiak drop on the other expo will prevent the honor guard from coming out. Oh my god, that was too greedy, Hetchy. I think he's getting punished here. Yep, honor guard will not get finished off that. That's it. Now the expo is next. The other expo is down due to the infantry. And Hetchy is having to defend the home base next. Still hasn't been able to make much progress happen. He's trying to capture some power nodes, but that's really the best he can do at this point. Hetchy should. Trying I mean, to save this expo with his turret support. Oh. But Ami's trying to kill it before he gets it, yet yeah, he will. Saw so that the spirits were already coming in, so he just forced the scatter on it to guarantee the kill before the engineers came in. He says, dude. So dumb but it's on me right now. <laughs> Too bad though, Hetchy. Uh you kinda need to win this one to stay in the winner's bracket. Yep. Now uh Almi could just push up. By the way, between series, I'm gonna need to reset. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, my system. Not a problem. Actually, I have to. I'm doing. We're doing some electrical changes in the house, so I have to shut the breaker off the power to my room for a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. I have to ask them to wait, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have a a little break after this one then. You're trying to regrab that expo on the other side. One that we lost. Where are the Kodiaks? Okay, they're coming up. Outpost Aiming for that expo. The expo did finish, but. Yeah, it's getting Kodiak. There's, there's no way to avoid it. Upgrade complete. Kodiak, a lot of flamers. Forge Hog is now out. I'm sure it's being upgraded somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's a basic Forge Hog. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now he's got combat mechanics as well. He actually should have uh, the Kodiak drop back again as well. He does? Because it, it's such a slow cooldown. Yeah, I've just seen it flash. He just doesn't have the population for it. Well, it's okay. He's about to lose some Marines here. Oh, those anti-vehicle turrets actually are a problem for the Forge Hog. Gonna stay out of there. Well, shield gen is almost down to half, and the Kodiaks haven't even started shelling. They're actually too far out. Oh no. Need to move them up all the way to the ledge. You drop two more. Those will be getting moved up. Oh, in the same spot. Nice. And Hatchy has the Expos again, beaming the units now. But not getting all that much done. Shields are down. Constructed. The Kodiak can just barely shoot there. <laughs> Reed's healing the Pochog, that's so funny. Spirit support coming we in. We only really uh, need to move up one, one of the Kodiaks, because the other one's actually in range of the Expo, which is nice to have. But that spirit support is gonna do a lot to these Kodiaks. Already killing one. Almi needs to drop in. Gl uh, yep, there it is. Grizzlies. Yeah, I was wondering what he has. See the AD pop, but not the units. There it is. 
Oh, oh what? Oh my god, the shield came back up. Because he was rebuilding it, he wasn't actually waiting for it to recharge. Oh, so. I see. That's rough. Trying to scatter to break the shield even faster. Yeah, Forchog might He will lose the Forchog. He has no detect for that Honor Guard either. Honor Guard will kill everything over time. Oh, there's a Nightingale. In that case, it's fine. Like, the Grizzlies will make short work of this hero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really never had a chance. Oh, my God. Got away at, like, no oh, health. Folks. That was crazy. Well, we have the... Two-star hunter still. And the displacement. Wait. Ooh, might pick off one of them. Away. Almost got it. There it is. Makes sense. Displace half and you know you'll kill guaranteed to kill the solo. The combat tech marines in the garrison are actually really tough to deal with. Oh, they almost got an engineer. Just barely survived. is getting separated again. The bottom base is the target. Kudia drop is back up too. I mean, he does have the money, but not, uh, not the population space. He's getting reinforcements once, so maybe now he does. This base is a goner as well, and it looks like the Forchuck has hunted down the Locust, I think. No, no, it went the other direction, never mind. Uh, honor Guard trying to make something happen, gathering some experience by killing Marines. Might be able to kill some of Alami's pads at least there, maybe not the base. I got a Hedgy finally healing the Expo in front of his base. <laughs> because if not, that thing is on Red Bar health. Yeah. Another honor. This is salvageable. Whole game is, I think, like two two star hunters. There's actually a chance here to push back, but it needs them together. <laughs> the part where this becomes hard for the shipmaster is when the four chog is vet three or tech three. It's this Gauss cannon. The hogs don't do enough to where you can counter that. Oh, that's beam two. Countered by heavy metal, but still does damage. Yeah, so honor think goes down. Oh, that goes go down. And then the double hunter uh, should make things happen. Where is it? Okay, it's still at the power node, but it's coming now. So I'll try to not lose the hunters. And from there, Hetchy should be comfortable. Ooh, Scatterbomb might get rid of some of the engineers. And, a, and one of the hunters. The other one is behind, gets killed as well. Wow. Both that two hunters are down. Big yeah. pickoff by Omni. Very important ones. Honor Guard does live as, as well. I think this is the power of Shipmaster's coming in. I'm gonna kill the uh, other two Kodiaks. Ornits. I did not see that coming. Oh, hello. I wasn't even looking at Almi's base for a little while. There's the uh, Forge Hog I said was upgraded. That ammo round with the Hunters is hard to deal with. Yeah, there's this just place. so much health on this thing, so the heal is also really strong. Heroes down. And he displaced four next. units to the main. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our base is under attack. And she did get infantry level one. Oh. And... Uh, yeah, I Ami mean, today just kind of countering Hetchy, not gonna lie. This was brutal. Uh, Hetchy still has a chance with the loser's bracket, so hopefully he warms up and comes back stronger. We all know he can do it, guys. It's just a rough set of matches. This stuff sometimes happens. Better luck in the future. Ami mean, has the winner's finals coming up, though. We want to thank our Metaplace website subscribers. 
Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.